Hi, Terry here with Beat Addicts Yarn. And today I'm going to show you how to use Chunky Yarn, which this is Premier Serenity, which is chunky, which is a chunky yarn. Uh, but how to use this successfully on either the Centro or the Addy knitting machines. Uh, these yarns tend to be a little too thick for these machines, and they do create a lot of tucked stitches. So um, I'll, I'm going to show you how to alleviate that problem. And it's very simple. You can't move along super, super fast with it, which you shouldn't be anyhow with a chunky yarn because you're just going to create too much wear and tear on your machine. But this is what I do, and it's worked for me for a few years now since I've had my machines. So what I do is, I, for one, I don't have any tension on my yarn going through the the feeder guide okay no tension on there and I just kind of hold on to my yarn behind here now some people put weights on this but then you're constantly moving them so if if you have a free hand then you may as well use your hand and not have to keep stopping but you just kind of grab your work as you're going along and just give a little tug on it and your stitches will knit and I'm not going to say perfectly because sometimes you do get a little gap in there where you're not holding down the tension right but you're not you're not pulling to pull out the stitches like this you're just putting putting a little bit of weight on the yarn on your worked yarn and if if you're starting off on a project and you want to start you want to use chunky yarn I encourage you to start with waist yarn first with a thinner weight so that you get you get something to grab onto okay so you'll have something to grab so that you're starting off with your heavier yarn without missing any without any tuck stitches or having any problems so start off with waist yarn first and a thinner yarn that'll work on your machine get a little bit of a base that you can grab onto to give that little bit of extra weight to help and the whole problem what is happening is in case you haven't figured it out or don't understand it is the your stitch on the hook coming up the yarn is not dropping down into position to create the next stitch okay let's see if we can get like here you might be able to see it let me see if I zoom in some you might be able to see it here but see right here this yarn didn't drop all the way down into position so by tugging on it you're, you're keeping it down where it's supposed to be. Now I need to make sure that I get my stuff back in place here to continue on. But that's that's what's creating the whole problem. And by putting... Oops, I just messed the whole thing up. <laughs> but by... Because uh, I wasn't... I didn't have my yarn properly in the yarn guide. So I'm going to have to go back. I'm not going to take you there because that's a whole other nightmare. But... That's what you can do to alleviate that problem. And I hope that helps you uh, with working with uncooperative yarn on your machine. Sometimes you just have to have a color or have to have a certain type of yarn or a certain softness and it's just not working out for you. You can do this method even with a, um, a thinner weight yarn. You're still going to have those problems. Use this method. I'm almost positive. I can almost guarantee it's going to work for you. And, but you're going to have to use two hands. So you're going to have to make sure that the yarn coming into the machine is free flowing so that you're not, and you're, if you are using a thinner weight, you can use the tensioner on the machine to help put a little bit of tension on your yarn. But then this will make sure that your stitches are all dropping down back onto the needle so that the next stitch can, um, can stitch properly. So, um, su subscribe to my channel, Beat Addicts Yarn and More, 
Uh, you'll get updates on any new videos, any patterns or anything like that. Also, um, we sell the Centro knitting machine on our website, www.beadaddictsyarn.com. Um, it is currently, this is April 17th. Our selling price is $54. We have a, uh, a coupon uh, for $8 off. So you can get it for $46, which is a bargain. Um, it's shipped from the United States, two-day priority shipping. You do have to pay for shipping now, but you get it in or two, two to three days priority shipping, depending on where you're at. Depends on whether you get it in two days or three days. Uh, it ships from New Jersey. So if you're out in California or, or out that way, it's going to take three days. If you're closer, it'll take two days. But uh, it's a great deal on this. Um, why we have them in stock. I don't know how long I'm going to have, have this sale going on. But um, like I said, subscribe to my channel. You'll get patterns. You'll get more tips. And uh, tell me what you think of my video. Okay. Have a great day and enjoy.